Good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here with, of course, Mike Lynn. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. You know, I am a conspiracy theory guy here. You know, Emma Smith came out with that whole interview when he was talking about, you know, to actually take a team friendly deal, you know, $28 million. And he got a lot of blowback. A lot of blowback, you know. And I don't think they were expecting to get that. And I still believe that the Dallas Cowboys kind of put that out there because, you know, they're trying to manipulate. This is just like, you know, Des Bryant tape being out there and D Law getting greedy and wanting more than what we thought we had an agreement with and everything else. And Zeke Elliott's got to understand that we need a team from. None of this stuff happens by accident. And that's where I think Gil Brandt coming out yesterday with his top five list of quarterbacks that that was a lifeline thrown to Emmett Smith. Is that possible, you think, Mike? I think that that went out there to change the narrative and, of course, get the focus back on Dak Prescott, right? But I was talking to a friend of mine who, who got me thinking about something. This little birdie brought out a great point that maybe if Emmett Smith, if, if you go by that philosophy that Dak should take a team-friendly deal and think about keeping players around by taking less money, that maybe that's a great idea. idea. What, do you think that's a good idea? It makes sense because, you know, the bottom line is, is if you get a ring in Dallas, it's immortality. You are forever up there with Roger Staubach and Emmitt Smith and you know, Hollywood Henderson, you, you know, you, you're there with all of the greats and part of it, immortality. And there might be something to this whole idea of taking less. Now, since we're doing this, I think a GoFundMe should go for Dak Prescott. You, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you are. No, 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 no. Not, not by us, the fans. We ain't got that kind. Of, we don't have that kind of money to go fund Dak Prescott. But I'm sitting here thinking that you know what, the team concept, and for everybody to show that they're all in and about winning. You know, Zeke, you get 15 million a year, right? You're the highest paid. We know Todd Gurley. Um, they're going to talk to him about you know renegotiating his deal down or or maybe releasing him. We know Melvin Gordon, he's not getting that big payday like you did. We, we, we're talking about, um, uh, dag on, Lavian Bell. You know, Jets trying to trade him and get his contract. So you, you'll be the highest paid running back. I don't know that Barkley will get a bigger contract than you have. How about you kick in a million dollars towards Dak's salary? What's, uh, that, that's chump change. What, what is a million dollars when you get 15 a year? A am I wrong? Dak gets that number down on Dak, you know, and, and, and D-Law, D-Law, you know, you got, what, $65 million guaranteed, you got that franchise tag, the other, you've already got, so guaranteed, $80 million plus that's already earmarked for you. How about you go ahead and hit up that GoFundMe for a million dollars? That's $2 million right there, because that $2 million, you know, that's more than what Dak made most years. Let's see. Let's see. Where, where else can we go? Where else can we go? You know, Tyra Crawford. You got nine million last year, you know, and you were hurt. How about you kick in a million? Um, Tyron Smith. You missed three games a year, you know, um, and you got a ninety-seven million dollar contract. What's a million dollars to you? I mean, seriously, what's a million dollars? Right there, that's four million dollars. So now, you know, if we say that Dak would be looking for a $34 million, we're down to 30. Let's see, what well, Lyle Collins, you know, I know you got screwed because those allegations and you didn't make as much money as you thought, but you know, they, 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 they believed in you, they got you that deal. How about you toss in a million dollars? Zach Martin, you're the highest paid guard in football. I know you can drop in a million dollars. You know, if we keep on doing this, we not only can get Dak's number down under in, in, in the twenties, so he can take less money and stuff. We could actually have more money to try and bring in some more players. Am, am I crazy? I mean, Emma Smith said, "Hey, Dak, 
take less money. Be a team guy. Great theory. Why don't everybody think about doing that? You don't think it'll happen? Maybe nobody's thought of it. Seriously. If everybody on the team says, you know what, I'm going to take me, you know, I'm just going to take 5% pay cut. Just 5%. How about that? I mean, well, no, we're going to donate 5% of my salary. That's, that's church tithing. Church tithing. 5% of your income to the pot to help the Dallas Cowboys field the team. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, but, but why not? This is what the Hall of Famer said, that, that Dak should leave money on the table. What? I'm just saying, let's create the church of the Dallas Cowboys. We go, we go to church on Sundays, don't we? Mm. Okay, well, we go, we, you watch football on Sundays, don't you? That's the church of the Dallas Cowboys. And that the Cowboy players should play tidings to help the team out, to take care of the community, to be team friendly. Right? Emmett, tossing your bone here. I think it could work. things that you can be penny wise and pound foolish because the longer this thing goes the worse the feelings are and the longer you're keeping the quarterback away from the team and the new coach and the new system you may save some money in the long run you may franchise tag him and get him to play but just like you saved or no excuse me like you said you're going to save some money with Zeke Elliott just like you said you're going to save some money with D-Law. In the end, you didn't save any money. But you spent a fortune on the season because the season was ruined. And that's money that you lost. It's just like being penny-wise and pound foolish. Buying cheap-ass paint. It's cheaper. I saved some money on the paint. But then I had to put four damn coats of paint on the wall. Four coats. Four coats of paint really saved you, didn't it? I'm Mark Holmes with GoFundMe for Dak Prescott. All you players, chip in. And I'll send you each a free Joe Boo shot glass if you do that. How about that? I know you want one. I know you want one. Alright, I'll see you.